Hello everybody and welcome back to the All About Favor channel. I am your host, Pastor KZ. For the most part, this week I'll be representing Black History uh, t-shirts and I'll do my Juneteenth t-shirt as well. How y'all doing? How was y'all week? last week i know probably was a tough week i've heard from some of you i've gotten some of your emails and to my subscribers who are in some of the states that's been hit hard with the weather the inclement weather our prayers and thoughts are with you now all this week i am doing what i promised i will be addressing some of your emails i know you all have been on me about getting up to date with them so i'm going to do that all this week but before i start i'd like to say something that's very important to everybody watching y'all we're in a time where people don't have love and compassion for each other and all i want you to remember to always do <clears throat> is to be kind to people treat people the way you want to be treated and you've got to open your heart to embrace people with genuine love compassion and kindness because it's God's way y'all we have got to do better about how we treat each other now y'all every since Eve got into that garden of Eden it's been trouble it was nothing but trouble and it's like problem after problem with Eve. So I want to start this week off addressing the daughters of Eve, the women of today. And ladies, let me say this. The enemy has used tactics of manipulation, lies, and deceit all the way back from the garden days, all the way back from Bible days, it has been manipulation the enemy has used to destroy relationships, to put turmoil and chaos in relationships. And what you gotta do is if you don't have a praying life and you are un unequally yoked together with somebody who does not think like you, who's not on one accord with you, there is going to be trouble. And I'm gonna preference this by saying that some of the emails I received, after a while I, I stopped reading them sometime because they all have the same narrative and i'm going to flip it today i'm going to start with the men usually i'll start with the women but i need to start with the men today and ladies let me tell you they got a lot of comeback a lot of pushback and they got a lot of things that they want to get off their chest and say and this is not even a third of the emails that i've received and the things that they were saying but here we go. Now, ladies, y'all ain't gonna like this. So I'm ready for all of your comments at the end of the video. Make sure you share this video, like the video, thumbs up the video, because it's gonna be some critical things being said. And those who haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And please comment, like, and share. This finna get hot. So let's get started. Ever since the Garden of Eden situation where Adam said, this woman you gave me, gave me the fruit. Men have been using that as a reason for their behavior. Men, just like Adam didn't, did not take accountability for his part of the story. Men, I'm going to say this and I'm going to step out of the commentary for this week. You men have got to own your part of the story, own your part of the mess, and stop always blaming the woman or blaming some circumstance or blaming how you was raised, blaming your mama, blaming your daddy. You've got to take about accountability and be responsible for your behavior. Too many of you are making excuses. That is what I'm getting and that is what I know from personal experience. So let's get into it. Ladies, brace yourself because these emails or these comments today are brutal. All right. Dear Pastor KZ, I'm going to call you Auntie KZ. These women nowadays are a whole mess, says a 46-year-old man. They are too much to deal with. I'll take my chances being single. I just cannot get in a relationship because these women are way over the top. 
Another man says, these women have so much baggage and drama and create chaos. I simply don't want to deal with them. And another thing, while I'm venting to you, Pastor KZ, I mean, where are the ladylike women? Where are the women who exhibit feminine graces? Are they all like men now? They all really believe that you're supposed to act like a lady and think like a man? I want a lady who act like a lady and think like a woman. These women simply are way over the top. They watch too much reality TV and they done bought into what society says. And I just can't deal with them. All right, ladies. Whew, those are mild. Here's a 50-year-old man. He says, Pastor KZ, my mama told me something, and I ain't going to never say my mama lied to me, but my mama told me ever since I was a little boy, son, when you grow up, all the good women are not in the clubs and the bars. You need to go to church and get you a good saved woman. Now, Pastor KZ, no knock on you, because you probably an exception. These are his words. I'm reading word for word today. Them women had to be back in my mama day and my grandmama day. I ain't sure they make them women no more. I don't think they just exist no more. And I do believe a lot to do with how women are today is how they was raised. I'm sorry, Pastor KZ. Most of these women nowadays, and remember, I'm a 50-year-old man. I can't stand no 50 and 60 year old woman looking like she, her granddaughter age, 25. I mean, my God, girl, go put some clothes on. You grown now. You ain't got to do all of that to draw a man's attention. Put some clothes on, cover it up, and walk in your grace, ladies. Whew, okay. He says, so I don't know. Because these church women, he said, let me tell you, all I have been getting is these desperate, lonely, Ladies, and after the first date, how about the next form of communication you get from them via text or on the telephone conversation? This is what they say. You know what? I was praying and the Lord told me you my husband. Know what I do? Click, block, click, and block. I'm not dealing with that. So you done got over-spiritualized this thing. One date, lady, I barely know your name. And I'm your husband. That's what God showed you. Don't you think God would show me if you was my wife? Because if I'm not mistaken and I'm not a Bible scholar, it says he who findeth the wife. Girl, quit looking for me. You women look for men. Y'all got to stop this. That's a red flag to me. All right, y'all. Another man says, these women are trifling, they're liars, and they cheat just as much as we do. Who do you think we cheat with? The ones who cheating too. Ooh, he says, these women, they always looking for the next man with the bigger wallet. They not happy with a good guy who's holding her down, paying his bills, got halfway decent credit, and don't come to her for anything. They don't want these type of men like myself. They want these guys with the big fat wallet, the showboat guys with the fancy cars, all of this stuff who may be doing illegal things, or they may be the guys who were fortunate enough to get a Fortune 500 job, but these women just looking for a payday. And another thing is, they're either looking for somebody to parent or be their baby daddies who take on the role of their baby daddies since their dad is not in their life, or they're looking for a daddy because they daddy abandoned them when they was a little girl. So now they got daddy issues and they looking for a daddy. Yeah, that's what they look for when they looking for the older guys. They ain't really feeling older men like that. They ain't really coming for and capping for older men. They capping for the wallet. They coming for the bag. Pastor KZ, everything you saying is good. I love your videos and I'm a loyal subscriber, but these women are a whole mess. Wow. Let's go on. Here's another man. He said, these women are emotionally unstable and unrealistic. Now, y'all, I'm going to say this. This next guy, I'm going to read a portion of his email. Y'all need to hear what he has to say. Because I know it's going to trigger you, so I'm going to do a trigger warning right now. He said, Auntie Casey. Yeah, I know you're a pastor, but I'm going to call you auntie. 
Some of us men have options. And no, we don't want no fatties, big backs, overweight, unhealthy looking women. Y'all don't even take care of your body. Y'all look a hot mess. You don't know how to dress. And ladies, I get this now from my mom and my aunties them because I had some classy role model type women in my family. And my mama always used to wear something they used to call a girdle. I think they call them Spanx now. But ladies, y'all putting on these form-fitting dresses, you look a whole mess. I'm not interested in that. Where are the women who look classy? And as for talking about we ain't no good, y'all ain't no good either. Wow. And he goes on to say, he oh, he had a lot to say. I stopped reading most of his. He said, contrary to what y'all think, looks do matter somewhat. And yes, I take good care of myself and I want my woman to look healthy. I don't want no woman who look like she uh, done ate five too many hamburgers. And another thing. So what if we like red bones and women from other cultures, other races, and other ethnicities? We got options. We can pick and choose. We like what we like, and we are sick and tired, and I feel I can talk for the rest, some of the other brothers out there. We sick and tired of y'all, black women especially. Y'all a whole mess. Y'all are a piece of work. Y'all got all of these requirements, stipulations, and y'all don't even live up to that. You can't even meet the expectations you have for us. You all are too controlling. You're dominating. You're combative. You don't know how to show respect, not just for a man, but you don't respect yourself. We don't like potty-mouthed women. Every woman that comes alone and every other word out her mouth is the F word, the MF word, the B word. We just don't want to hear you. Another thing is, ladies, I'm going to put this out there. Yes, it's okay to have a social drink every now and then. But guess what? I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Just because a man offer you a drink, can you say, no, thank you. I'll just take a soft drink or I'll take a bottle of water. We really trying to test you to see if you are drunk. We don't want drunks. Just because we offer you a drink don't mean you got to take a drink. Mm. So, ladies, have your mamas ever taught y'all that sometimes men be testing you? Just because a man offer you a smoke, that don't mean you accept. And, ladies, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Them women out there in the club and in the bars and in the streets that we may be partying with and having a good time with, you ain't going to never meet my mama. Man, you would never meet my mama, my aunties, my grandma. Girl, no way you going to meet them women. And the first thing you do, you around here doing all of this, doing the same thing I'm doing. Basically, what I got here is a dude. Basically, what I got here is one of my homeboys. That's why we treat y'all like that. Because you act like our homeboys. You're not feminine. You're overly masculine. Oh, my gosh. Y'all feel like y'all can just jump all up in a man's face and do it and say what you want to say? You're going through our phones. You don't know how to stand down when a man say you've gone too far because you want to talk, 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 and feel like you can speak your mind. Oh, y'all, he was exhausting with all this stuff he's saying. Y'all got all these rules and expectations. I tell you what, when y'all say, well, basically, I don't really need you, dude. I can do everything for myself. I don't really need you here. Well, why y'all coming for us if y'all don't need us? If y'all want to be such strong, black, independent women, quit coming for the men. Quit looking for our pockets. Quit looking for us to take care of you. Stop it. Pastor Casey, auntie. I want to use your favorite moniker, and you need to go head on and get some of these t-shirts printed up right away for us men. Girl, bye. Go have a seat. Okay, ladies, I, 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 I think I've had just enough of the men for right now. What y'all think, ladies? They came hard, and like I said, this ain't a third of what was said. Uh, some of the stuff was a little too graphic for me to sit there and try to decipher or, and for me to put here today. But I will address this periodically. I know y'all get on me about not addressing it. I'm going to try at least once a month or once every other month to review some of these relationship emails. Because y'all, I'm not a relationship guru. I'm not even good at that type of stuff. I don't even have a whole lot of experience in that. All I can do is tell you what I think and what my opinions are. And my opinion today is, I got no opinions. I'm exhausted just reading most of this stuff. What y'all say? 
comment, like, and share. Y'all, please send me some more emails. Those of you that don't want to write in the comment section today, this was a whole lot. Ladies, I don't know what the problem is, but the men ain't feeling the ladies. They just not. The men have all of this bottled up stuff inside of them that they wish they could say out loud to women. But some of them say, we just be kind and try to be as nice as we can about it. Not to hurt a woman feeling. But this is how we really feel about y'all. Because y'all ain't like the women from our grandma days. Y'all are not like our mamas, some of them. Now, I'm going to get into that tomorrow. Y'all, I'm sorry. I don't have much commentary for this week shows probably until the end of the week but y'all be blessed always walk in favor get your balance and get your focus and no matter what prioritize your peace all of this here stuff i read just now that's not peace know the difference protect your peace i'll see you back tomorrow